this tutorial is going to show you how to create a PowerPoint presentation with a voiceover. Um, just like with recording a voice lecture inside of Blackboard, you're going to have to have a microphone set up for your computer. And the first step you're going to do is actually create your PowerPoint presentation and get it ready just as if you were in a face-to-face -face class. Um, what I've done is taken the first three slides from our Preparing to Design an Online Course presentation from last week and um, we're going to use those to demonstrate. So the first thing you're going to do once you've got your presentation all ready is you're going to come up here and you're going to click on Slideshow. And the next thing you're going to do is click on Record Narration. This is going to bring up the record narration um, dialog box and one of the first things you're going to need to do is set your microphone level and this is just going to go through and test your microphone and I encourage you to do this the first time that you go through and record your narrations. So click set microphone level and it's going to actually ask you to read the following text and your microphone should be kind of in the green to yellow. Um, if you see it way up here into the red area um, then your mi microphone is going to be too loud or the quality is not good enough um, to use. So um, once you get your microphone and for the majority of your words you see it's in the green you're going to click OK. And now what you're going to need to do is click OK here. But the second you click OK, it's actually going to launch your presentation. And you're actually going to present it as if you were presenting it into a face-to-face -face class. So I'm going to click OK. Preparing to design an online course. Um, what is instructional design? Um, instructional design is just the practice of maximizing the effectiveness and efficiency and appeal of instruction and other learning experiences. Um, the process is going to consist of determining the needs of the learner, defining the end goal of instruction, and creating tools to assist in the transition. Um, what you see here is the instructional development process. And you're going to go through from analyze, design, develop, evaluate, and revise. And at the end here, once you click to go to the end, just like you normally do, it's going to bring up this box that says the narrations have been saved with each slide. Do you want to save the timings as well? Always hit save here because that is going to control how long the slide appears on the screen. So I'm going to hit save. And it will bring you back up to this screen right here. Now, at this point, what you're going to do is just save your PowerPoint. And when you give it to your students and they will actually launch your PowerPoint, Let's see here. I'll show you from the beginning. Preparing to design an online course. Um, what is instructional design? Um, instructional design is um, what you see here. And so I just kind of clicked through that for time purposes, but it will go through and it will read the um, slides there for you. So once again, this was how to insert a voiceover narration on your PowerPoints. Um, if you have any questions or, or you want to work with this, just let me know.